Today is the absolute proof that there's nothing like a crisis to make you forget about the other stuff you were worried about. Oh my god, do not come near me. This is the reality of owning your own bakery. I am unwell. All right, I got you in here for 245 with Dr. Peepee. Thank you so much. Of course, we'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <gasps> oh my god. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Thank goodness that I can see the chiropractor today. As you can see, I'm Quasimodo. <laughs> this started yesterday and my back was kind of like pinching sometimes. And today it's... Yes, exactly magic. That should be a fun day. First of all, I apologize for whatever mess is behind and around me. But if you're wondering, how did we get here? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh! Last time this happened, the chiropractor told me it was because I did not like lock in my abs as I was rolling croissant dough. Bigger problems. This hasn't happened in a while though. I have been rolling a lot of dough recently, so maybe that's what happened. But. It's fine. It's fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Is it 2.45 yet? We have four hours to go. I don't even know how I'm driving to the chiropractor. We're gonna have to make this work. This is the reality of owning your own bakery. Some days you're gonna wake up like this and you're not gonna be able to move and guess what? Nothing stops. This should be an interesting one. There are no words for me to explain to you how much I appreciate my chiropractor. If you need a chiropractor, look at this. I can bend over to talk to you. I shouldn't push my luck though. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> I just put a bench in here. If you need a chiropractor in St. Pete, Ruben Health Center has saved me more than once. Again, I mean, I'm not like, we're not gonna go to a Zumba class anytime soon, but like I can move and breathe without, you know, Great pain. He said he taped me up. There's tape over here and in the back. It was painful. I'm not sure what he did. He basically said the entire left of my back is like super tense. Things have gone out of place. But what I tried to do last night, which was put heat on, apparently only made things worse. I told him, I was like, please just fix me so I can do the market. And he was like, I'll try my best. I think I will take advantage of the fact that I'm feeling more sprightly right now. And I will go to the kitchen to finish up some stuff for tomorrow because bright and early, we gotta go to the market tomorrow. And then I gotta be there for six hours serving you guys croissants. I think we're gonna go to the kitchen now. Not check in with you guys later. Unrelated, my friend Carissa gave me this for my birthday and I told her I would try my very best not to kill it, but she's looking a little sad. I was told that one ice cube per week should do it. I'm thinking of putting a second cube. She's just looking a little droopy, isn't she? Ugh. Oh no, it's raining now. Actually coming down hard. So I was actually going to go get something to eat because there's Nothing. Like, you know when you open the fridge and there's nothing? Nothing. So I was gonna go to Chipotle and get some food, cause that's like semblance of like real food, but it's pouring outside. So I think I missed my window. I'm gonna wait like 20 minutes. I mean, it's just water, but also update on back. Feeling much better, but, but, but. I'm not about to put all these heavy things in the car by myself. <laughs> so they're over here. When Dan gets home, he can help me out. Good morning. It is 5 a.m. on Saturday. I'm happy to announce that my back is doing okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, my back is doing okay. It's not perfect, but we're we're doing better than yesterday. Thank goodness. So let's get to the kitchen. Let's finish things up and let's get to this market. And hopefully my back will not get worse. <laughs> You're still hoping. <laughs>
are officially set up. I cannot even tell you if my back hurts or not because I've been just barreling through. What started is very calm. I was being very calculated in the kitchen and being very careful. All of a sudden it was like, oh, we're running out of time. We gotta go. And so I just started running, carrying heavy things. I was like, it doesn't even matter. Running on adrenaline. So we'll find out later. So far, so good though. We're all set up. I'm ready to go. So let's hope it's a good market. We have a little bit of a lull. Oh my gosh, I just scared myself. It was just a rubber band. This guy's too small to sell and I'm too hungry not to eat it. I swear. Oh my god! Oh my god, do not come near me. You stay right there, I will lose it. What is that? I am unwell. Un freaking well. I need to sit down. Explain to you what just happened. My God, nature is naturing way too hard today, okay? Most people will think that vegans are uh, tree huggers, you know, just embracing nature. I am not that person. Me and nature have a very respectful long distance relationship. I stay away from her and she lets me be. I recycle, I take care of her, I want everyone to protect her. I do not wanna be in it today though, at the market. Around this time of year, oak trees, they're these little worms that just like kind of hang down from the trees and just fall. The stuff of horror movies, okay? They're just worms falling from the sky. I thought it was twigs on the ground at first and then they started moving. Thank God I had a tent over my stuff, but I could like if you do not like bugs, skip ahead 30 seconds. This is what it looked like from where I was standing looking up in the tent. Like I could see them worming on the top of the tent. I was also keeping watch on the ground because I didn't want them to come near the food, obviously. I just kept like shooing them away to make things worse. Remember my back and how it's all taped up right now? Well, it was also 85 degrees today because I was sweaty the tape on my back is starting to come undone. Guess what that feels like when you're already having the creepy crawlies? Mm. If you came over today and I seemed a little out of sorts, that is why. Because I basically spend the entire time going like this. If that wasn't enough, I get home. And what do I find clinging to my window? in the front door. A beetle? A beast of some sort? I don't know what it is. It had multiple legs, some antenna, it had wings. A horrible creature from the depths of hell, that's what it was. When I told it, do not move, it had the audacity to fly. <sighs> Again, trigger warning. This is what this monster looked like. I will never recover mentally from this. Today is the absolute proof that there's nothing like a crisis to make you forget about the other stuff you were worried about. Because guess what I did not worry about today? My back. If you are a person who loves nature and bugs, I salute you. I admire you. I wish I was like you. With this chaotic ending, we will close this vlog over here because I think the last 48 hours have been a journey for all of us. I hope that you enjoyed whatever this was and I will see you guys here next week with hopefully a much more mellow and chill vlog. I love you. Thank you so much for watching.